the purpose of this is to shut down the avenues for some of these people stealing property, uh, shut down the avenues for them to get rid of the property that they steal. The Elmira Police Department is cracking down on the sale of stolen property. That means tougher regulations for swap shops throughout Elmira. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. Scott has the night off. Now, swap shops in the city have to wait 30 days before they can sell any merchandise brought into their stores. That's an update to an old ordinance that required just a five-day wait. Police say they're trying to stop anybody who may try to sell something they've stolen. WMY TV's Walter Smith Randolph spoke with swap shop owners today and joins us live in the studio with more. Walter. Renata, not only do swap shops have to wait 30 days, they also have to report daily what they bought from people and who they bought it from. The reaction I got today on this new policy is mixed, but one swap shop owner was not happy to see me. This is public property. I'm allowed to be here. No, 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 I'll take this right is now. public property, take sir. It, take sir, this is public property. Sir, this is public property. This is public That's property, the sir. owner of Sammy's Swap Shop. He's not happy about the city's crackdown on stores like his. But his reaction doesn't speak for all swap shop owners in Elmira. Kelly J. Swap Shop, can I help you? Gerald Lee owns the College Avenue Swap Shop. It's going to be a good thing. If I can help take Tramoth Street, then I want to take and help them every bit I can. That's one of the first places that we will tell people to check if uh, if their property stolen. Swap shop owners now have to wait 30 days before they can sell anything brought into their stores, allowing more time for people to recover items possibly stolen from them and then sold. Stores will also have to fill out more paperwork. This is one of the new forms swap shop owners will have to fill out. They'll also have to submit it to the police department every day. It has important information on it like how much they paid for the merchandise and who sold it to them. I just uh hope it does a trick for them that they're able to enforce it. Now, if a swap shop unknowingly sells stolen property, the police will arrest the person that sold it to the shop, but there's no way for the shop to get their money back. Reporting live in the studio, Walter Smith Randolph, WNY TV News. Renata?